Hello guys, I'm Fifi here and welcome to another episode of Not Far Short to Glory here on Fifi 15. And today we are finishing up till the January transfer window where we'll be doing a lot of business guys. A lot and lots of business here as you can see. This win against here against Porto would guarantee us our space outside of the group here in the Champions League. It would be good if we could get out of the group here. We do get a chance here for a good shot there. Zardes this time bangs it. Zardes puts in the back of the net. The guy has been on freaking fire in the last couple of games and he is just putting the ball in the back of the net like an absolute god as Zardes as he usually is guys Zardes puts it in the back of the net as we do take the lead here we did do get a penalty though in Bubaka one of the most overpowered strikers on this game puts the ball in the back of the net and they have got a penalty from it guys which is pretty annoying pretty pretty annoying as Danilo the guy who's actually moved to Real Madrid right now in real life and as you see Danilo is about to step up here for Porto. He bangs it. They take the lead. Unlucky lads. We'll get back from it as they do take the lead there. But it was sad for us to see that they taken not taking the lead. What my hell am I talking about, guys? As we do get the ball in the back of the net. As we see here, we do run up here with Zarez. Zarez running up from goal here. Zarez doing the silky skills. Oh my god, Zarez has just handed them a new arsehole. What a player Zarez is. And he puts the ball in the back of the net, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. Oh my god, Zayas. The ball played through here. We have another chance. And the ball is put in the back of the net. I don't know who the hell that is. It was yellow hair here. That is Sio, guys. Sio puts the ball in the back of the net. As we do take the lead there, which is absolutely ridiculous. And that ended the game there, guys. We do walk away with a comfortable 3 1 win against Porto. Which is actually pretty nice to see, guys, because we are actually a very, very strong team now. We play really well, and we have taken the 3-1 lead from Porto at their home ground. Absolutely ridiculous. As we do play Manchester City now, guys, which is a big one for us. We need to play well. We need to get the results in to really just keep our dominance at the top of the table, which really, just really we have to do. And that's what we just really have to do. And that's what we have to do. You see Manchester City have a very, very strong team in there. Obviously, Aguero, um, who else? Aguero, Navas, a base winger. They have a good lot. Company, pace to centre back. They have a lot of good players in their club, which really just, you know, that's going to be hard for us playing against really, really pacey wingers and all that kind of stuff. So we really have to play hard. And Joe, obviously, they do start a weakened side here, guys, which actually really annoys me. A very, very weak inside, which um, we just have to... I mean, a weak side is what we have to deal with here. But we do decide to go in here. And Aaron Gunn, the Manchester City goalkeeper, was absolutely handed a new arsehole there by Yusuf Paulson. Paulson is a fantastic player there, guys. Puts the ball in the back of the net as we do take the lead here against Manchester City. Manchester City try to get back here, but we do have a second chance here. Ball cut open and a ball is put in the back of the net. Absolutely ridiculous from Yusuf Paulson, and the man is just on freaking fire, guys. He is just on bloody fire as he does put the ball in the back of the net there for us. Manchester United tried to get a chance here. Is, jo I think that is Jovetic there? Gives him a chance and trying to get back into this game. No Negredo, guys, puts the ball in the back of the net. And that did see you guys. We have beaten them today, which is absolutely ridiculous. We have beaten this side, the Manchester City sides. We do come into ch again against Chelsea here. In the Stamford Bridge, and we really need to get somewhere good in this game, guys, to try and win the game here. So we do see us at top of the table there. Very, very good start. Very, very good, fantastic league start for us. Arsenal in tenth now. Wow, they have dropped since the start of the season. They thought they were up there, but now they have kind of dropped. And uh, really, just Arsenal, a good team. They're a team I will consider to take this year because they've got a very, very good squad. Um, obviously, people like Sanchez in there. Obviously, players like. Um, um, Kishon, if I was at Arsenal, guys, the main trouble was getting Mersak into a deal with someone, trying to bring another centre back in there, and possibly a new right back. So I don't really like Dabucci that much. I would probably go for. I probably would try and get a Mer Sock to send a Mersak out. That was what I would go with, or something like that. Or um, Mangala. No, not Mangala. He's just move there. Anyway, just players that I would think are overpowered and bring them to Arsenal. See what happens there. You do see CO running through the wing here. And Paulson, 
the big boy, the big Dane man, just puts it in the back of the net. Absolutely fracking ridiculous from Yusuf Paulson. What a guy this guy is, as he does put it in the back of the net for us, which is absolutely insane. Just absolutely insane from Yusuf Paulson. Puts the ball in the back of the net, and you can see here, they do, don't know how the hell this happened with my defence. What the frick is happening, lads? What are you doing there? I don't know what happened with my defence. I tried to pass back to the player there, and the ball just came to Costa, and he poaches it in the net. We do get a chance here. CEO running on, and CEO the man to put in the back of the net. Absolutely ridiculous. CEO, one of my favourite players now in this team, and he puts the ball in the back of the net, which is absolutely ridiculous as we... Are moving very close to the giant transfer now, guys. As you can see here, Paulson running on. Paulson sweats it and CO puts it in the back of the net to seal the match here, guys. Which is absolutely ridiculous. From CO does put it in the back of the net. Which is absolutely ridiculous, guys. As usual, it is absolutely ridiculous. Putting the ball in the back of the net and really just doing well. Cup competitions, guys. Not really a big issue for me. I think I really want to get far in the Europa League. And that's what I'm going to try and do, guys. But as you see here, CEO runs, but he gets tackled. And that is the end of the game here, guys. That is the end of the game. That we have beaten Chelsea by a massive three goals to one at the bridge. As you do see here, Yassi's Zanes, guys. I was pretty pissed at myself saying, oh, no, they could accept this. I was joking, guys. I think of 5.5 million. And I could possibly get Danny Ings instead of Zardes. But I thought, you know what? I don't want to get rid of Zardes. But again, 5.5 million. I don't know, maybe I could sign, because Danny Ings is on a pre available to sign on a pre-contract, but I'm not looking at pre-contract. As you see, Serge Gnabry, guys, we decided to send him on loan, because he's not really going to be used this year. And that's really it, guys, for this episode. We do have Manchester United in the next episode, and we are top of BPL, so thank you for watching. I've been Aaron FIFA. Have a good one. Goodbye.